Gordy Prestel and the Boise State women back at home this afternoon hosting Utah State. The Bronco women 27 and 11 all time against the Aggies. We head on over to Extra Mile Arena. Boise State up by seven at the break. Pick things up. Second half, Dominique Leonidas. Three ball, corner pocket. Team, team high, 22 today. Fantastic ball movement all afternoon long. We move ahead in the third quarter. Mary Kay Nero, one of her six assists today. Elodie Leilat, also in double figures with 14. We move ahead, Leonidas this time to set up there to Jada Clark for the layup. Broncos stretching their lead to double digits. Great ball movement here again. Clark to Anna Osley. She finds Abby Muse, two of her 14 points. Broncos cruise at home, 71-47 the final. Yesterday, or I should say Friday, was our first chance to speak with new Boise State running backs coach Keith Bonifa. The Broncos' new running backs coach returns to Boise State after spending the last eight years at the University of Washington. Bonifa spent 2006 to 2013 here in Boise coaching the Broncos running backs under Chris Peterson. He turned out several former Bronco greats like Jeremy Avery, Doug Martin, DJ Harper, Jay Hijai, just to name a few. Safe to say Bonafa thinks his current bell cow, George Halani, is next in line to join those greats. Because he's a guy, you know, in, in the likes of, you know, Doug Martin and Jay Ajay, if you keep help, keep him healthy, it can change the course of a season. Um, you know, you know, got games when he's not in, you notice when George Halani's not in the football game. And, you know, having a guy like that in the room, uh, it feels like a gift. It's right after Christmas. So Christmas is coming early for 2022. Obviously, him being the lead dog, it's important. But you want to make sure you can keep him healthy throughout the course of not only just the seasons, but through games as well. You know, keep him fresh through games. We keep him fresh. We're going to have a, a, a special room. Speaking of new coaches, Boise State announcing the hiring of Kelly Papinga as the Broncos' new edge coach and co-special teams coordinator back on Friday. Papinga arrives in Boise after spending the last six years as Virginia's outside linebackers coach, the last four of which he served as co-defensive coordinator as well. Prior to his time at Virginia, the former BYU linebacker coached the Cougars linebackers from 2011 to 2015. Papinga set to make $220,000 year one of his two-year deal with Boise State. Casey missed it yesterday, the annual Raleigh Lane Wrestling Invitational wrapping up at the Idaho Center. Over 80 boys and girls representing seven, di seven different states competing this weekend. We had several local winners yesterday, including Eagles Tanner Frothinger, as you can see right there at 120 pounds. Bishop Kelly represented on the top podium by the Martino brothers. Freshman Matthew here picks up the win at 113, while big bro Christopher takes home the title at 132 pounds. As for the team competition, Flathead High School out of Montana takes home the boys and girls team titles. In case you missed it on Friday night out in Caldwell, Colby Blaine in the College of Idaho improving to 13 and three on the season. They beat Multnomah to extend their win streak to six in a row. Seven-footer Paul Wilson added 18 points to lead the way. Ricardo Tyne chipped in 17 and nine boards, while fellow senior Derek Wadsworth added 15 for the Red Hot Yokes. Over to the ice we go. Really nice weekend for Everett Sheen and the Steelheads. Back on Friday, the Steelies beating division rival and leader Utah 6-3. Six different players tallying goals in that one. Last night, the fellows followed that up with another win over the Grizzlies, this time coming by a score of 4-3. to three. A.J. White with the game-winning goal in the shootout to give the good guys the victory. The two wins moves the Steelheads to just five points behind first place Utah. Those two now play a three-game series this week down south. We're back with more news after the break.